Hi, Matt Bisogno here, and uh, as you can maybe see behind me, I'm in the wonderful city of Worcester, where it is very wet. Indeed, uh, as I'm speaking to you now, the the race meeting scheduled for tomorrow, Saturday, has been uh, abandoned due to waterlogging, uh, and this afternoon's Chepstow meeting has also been abandoned. Um, lots of rain everywhere, and lots of rain everywhere means lots of heavy ground. Now, this time of year, there are plenty of horses that have never run on heavy ground before, and so trying to identify uh, those that might act on it is um, is a very difficult challenge. Um, so I just wanted to showcase a couple of ways that GGs can help in that regard. Um, the first of them, and I'm going to I'm going to just change the going here at Sandown to heavy, and I, I haven't checked actually. I don't know what it is, but I just for the purpose of, of this exercise, um, I want to do that. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll just pick a run, picking this race at random. Um, it's a three-year-old race, so I'm assuming that, that none of them have got any heavy ground form. Um, and here we can see on the instant expert, if I just change the handicap to all, we can see that uh, indeed none of them have run on heavy ground. So kind of where do we go with this? Well, the first thing that I want to show you is this this um, drop down beneath the card tab within Instant Expert. And it's it, it defaults to horse. But if you select it, you can choose jockey, trainer and materially in this case, sire. So if I'm just going to click on sire there. Um, and it does take a little longer to load because it's pulling in, obviously, for a horse. A horse might have 40 runs. A sire, a sire's progeny could have had a thousand runs. So it takes a little bit longer um, to load that data in, particularly on this very slow Premier in Wi-Fi, uh, which is... Okay, a quick switch to uh, a mobile dongle and a slightly more reliable Wi-Fi connection. And we've got some data now. Um, uh, not a huge amount in fairness. And again, you no, know, kind of like 25 runs for this Arcano, 10 for X Celebration, 40 for Dark Angel. Um, Dark Angel is quite interesting because there's a theory that his horses, uh, his progeny act very well on heavy. Um, not particularly reflected in the wind data. Sometimes it's better to use place data. Um, it's just a bigger sample size, really. And um, uh, more places than winds, obviously. So if we do that, and then we again sort it, and we see Arcano is still top of the pile. Arcano in Acceleration with 30% win rate. So that, uh, sorry, place rate. So they might be interesting horses to look at both at 10 to 1 against this 8 to 13 shot, um, numbers 3 and 4 on the card. Uh, so yeah, face the puck out and Spencer's son, quite interesting potentially just from that breeding perspective. Now, if you, um, you could do that in any race, you could go to the Instant Expert and the Sire and then you could look at the heavy ground there. But another way to do this, um, which is kind of a more uh, a more everyday use of it. So rather than having to go race by race, you can use good old query tool. So if I click on query tool here, um, and then I'll leave it with the date range of five years, that's fine. And then I'm going to, under the race option here, I'm going to choose uh, country UK for now, race code flat turf, and going heavy to heavy, right? So I'm looking at heavy ground. So if I just click generate report, um, we see that there have been 457 races or thereabouts on heavy ground. There might have been a dead heat, so there may have been only 456. That, that order of magnitude. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click from the runner um, variable list. I'm going to select, select sire, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to do anything actually within the sire. I could just type in, for instance, Galileo, and as I type, you see that it finds those um, those sires that fit the text. So that's quite neat. 
what I'm going to do rather than that I'm going to put the check in the in the radio button to the left of this variable sire and then when I click generate report that's going to produce um, uh, a list of all the sires and their performance on against the filters so I'll just do that generate report it might take a little minute because it's probably quite a lot of sires who have had runners on heavy ground um, and then that will appear the query's finished it's now the, the web page just pulling the data in it just takes a few seconds unfortunately and there we go and if I just go to the filters tab a second to remind ourselves we said UK flat turf heavy ground and this is the last five years as I write it so from uh, 14th of June 2014 to today or in real terms to yesterday then we have um, in our summary tab we've got all of the um, all of the runners um, now we've got loads of them that have run sort of had two runners on Act 1 has had two runners on um, heavy ground. Admiral of the Fleet has had a single runner. I'm not interested in them. Um, I want, I'm going to say at least 25 runners on heavy ground. So just put that 25 in the filters there. Go over here and click update. And now you can see in the runs column, they're all, if I order this smallest to largest, you'll see that. Um, the smallest of the dream ahead has had 25 and then um, the most is if I click it to order it the other way Dark Angels had 76 um, right so that's that so the reason this and by the way the reason this number is different from the number we saw on the card for, for that um, for that setup is because this is a five-year view and that was a two-year view um, so that's just to clarify that um, now what I want to do is I actually want to sort it by each way percent and again I think you're just getting a bit more data it's it's a it's a slightly more reliable measure than wins only um, so as an example Dubawi um, has more than a 50% place rate but actually a very very low win rate and um, it's probably just variance that the win rate is so low. So I'd, I'd you know, I'd, I'd be a little apprehensive of that, but I'd still be, um, I'd still want Dubawi in my corner. I'd certainly want Mason in my corner. Um, what I am going to do is I, I'm going to set the each way percent bar at 40. So I don't want anything with less than um, 40, uh, 40%. On there, so I'm just doing an update again, and then we've got a short list now. We've just got these six sires: Dubawi, Mason, Equiano, Pivotal, 60s Icon, and Fast Company. And I'm going to next to each one there is a plus button, uh, and if you just click on those, when you click on it, it turns into a minus. And what you can also see, um, hopefully, is that on the left-hand side here, um, it's adding them it's as though I'd type them in and selected them here but if I just do this it's the same as adding them you see like that so it's a very quick way to do that it's uh, you know, another everything is built within gold to be time saving and relatively intuitive so now I've selected all of these very importantly this is a step that some people miss and it gets a bit confusing I, I've selected them but I haven't re-executed the query so what I've basically done is I've refined my query from all sires to just these six sires and I now need to regenerate the report so if I just click that button there uh, it should be very quick and it's obviously it's showing that data again if I uncheck the sire radio button because it's currently grouping by sire that's what these radio buttons mean it means group by so I could group by horse or trainer or whatever um, in this case I'm grouping by sire if I uncheck that see the radio button's gone and regenerate the report it will just it will give me essentially this data these data at the bottom here this 227 um, and so on it will give me that as a summary line at the top here so I'll show you what I mean so there's that now okay so um, here's our our heavy ground angle basically um, we're saying in the last five years uh, UK flat races on heavy ground these six sires are of interest I'm not going to back them blindly but they are of some interest 
um, their horses uh, tend to handle the ground to some degree. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the angles tab here and I'm going to call this heavy ground UK flat sires just for fun and I'm going to click the add angle button like so and then you can see here that I've got a one next to um, this angle name and if I click on view runners show me that one runner and it's in the 805 tomorrow night so um, that's all very well that's the that's how you that's how you set up research and save an angle in the query tool uh, in the query tool area now how do you use this stuff how do you actually bring this into your into your um, into your daily uh, activity with Gigi's gold well there are a couple of ways the first one is something called it's just out of shot of course it is called QT angles which is on the report list hold on a minute let's see if I can make this work uh, down here right so I need to go to QT angles and click on that and this is my daily list of the horses um, uh, that satisfy whatever angles I'm looking at and these these so are these are some of my Mark Johnston um, I'm interested in those when I think they're going to lead I'm always trying likely of leading um, this is I probably need to get rid of this um, angle now but I was looking at certain trainers with their two-year-olds that had started the season very well um, I have an ongoing um, big essentially quite big but not massive priced UK handicap trainers angle a um, couple of a few sires that I like to look at that probably are a bit under the radar and performed well last year and a few other bits and pieces that I mess around with um, materially what I want to show you is um, this angle that I just saved which is here uh, if you can see that heavy ground UK flat sires so the first thing is that anything that I've saved in my query tool as an angle if there is a qualifier it's going to pop up on this report and I can see that there. The second thing, if we go to this 805 race tomorrow, when I'm looking at the race card, um, if you've got your, your red and blue numbers displayed, this is report angles and query tool angles, and, it, and I'll show you how to, um, how to display those on your card if you haven't currently. You can see down at the bottom here that this red law has got a one against it and if I click on that it shows that this is my heavy ground UK flat sires angle and that's why it's flagged on here um, and the data from the saved system and then if I hover over it it will remind me of what the angle parameters are so UK flat turf heavy those six sires um, from and to and we can if we look on the, the, the sire button it tells me that it's Mason. This is a Mason filly, um, and of course, Mason. Oops, Mason is there on my list of sires, one from the bottom there. So, so that's how it all fits together. So basically, um, there's a little bit of faff, or if you prefer, a little bit of fun, um, messing around with the query tool, and then once you've found something that you like, you save it as an angle. And thereafter, every time there's a qualifier, it will appear both on the report, um, on the report like this, and in the race card behind the blue numbers. Now, I did say I'd show you how to find those blue numbers, so let's do that. So basically, to do that, you go to your My Gigi's page, and it's just in the race card options section. It's a whole raft of uh, personalization that you can bring to life in the, in your race card to make it your race card rather than the race you know just the race card we give you so um the uh these two are qt angles and report angles so if i tick these you'll see that it says at the top hide so i've basically by ticking those i've just hidden the blue and red numbers if i just save that to show you what i'm talking about right that says saved great um and now let's go 
to the race cards and open up a card. But everything's a bit slow today because I'm running on a mobile Wi-Fi dongle in a, in a Premier Inn. No sign of Lenny Henry anywhere. Um, if he's still doing those adverts, I don't think he is. I think he's been replaced by some puppets now. Um, there we go. That's life. Um, yeah, you can see that now the um, the numbers, the red and blue numbers for report angles and query to angles have disappeared. I'm going to reinstate them because I use them. So I'm just going to click that and then they won't be hidden anymore. And uh, update again. And then if I refresh this this race card, um, we'll see my numbers are back, I hope. And eventually, Kazam, there we are. You can see I've got three report angles for this particular uh, horse, uh, Dreamwalker, which is a trainer change to Brian Ellison. Um, Brian does well with his trainer swaps. Um, trainer snippets actually looks at the two year view. So that the, the top and bottom lines here are essentially the same data angle, um, the same report angle twice. Um, and so on, you see the other ones. If I click on the red question mark at the top, as with all of the, um, the top menus, uh, if you click on one of these icons up here, it will open that information for every runner in the race. Now, in the case of um, report angles and QT angles, it only, if there's nothing to open, as with um, Saluti here, if there's nothing to open, then obviously it doesn't open it. But if there is, as with Proud Archie down at the bottom here, um, you can see that's open. So you, that's a quick way to look at all of the, the different report angles in a race. See if there's anything interesting about a horse on a given day. Um, I'm not going to go into how you set up report angles in this video, um, except to say if you go to reports, again, I've just got to... Um, scroll down the screen a little bit if you go to my report angles and hover over it you'll see a settings um, sub menu here and if you click on that you'll get you'll go to the settings page and you can set everything up on there um, the user guide is your friend for this go to the user guide it's on your my ggs page it's over here download ggs gold user guide it gets updated very recently 23rd of May was the most recent update. So do have a look at that. The user guide is your friend. I know we as men, mostly, apologies if you're a lady watching this, but we men, generally, we don't like to read the manual. We like to just get on and build the thing, do it wrong, and then try and figure it out later. Read the manual or have it close to hand, reference it, search for the particular thing that you're looking for at any given time, and you'll find it's a, a gold mine of stuff inside GG's that you probably would use if you only knew it was there. Um, okay, so that's the um, that's the read the manual lecture over for this video. Uh, and that was a little, a little showcase of QT angles, particularly in the context of trying to find um, a route in with heavy ground horses where there's no, there's no heavy ground form in the book. Uh, I hope that was useful. Um, I hope the query tool um, research side of it was useful also as 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 I've said I'm going to continue to do these videos and, and walkthroughs on a sort of a, a weekly basis as often as I can and this is this week's so thank you very much for watching and from a very wet and rainy Worcester bye for now